Hello everyone. My name is Rahul Bhadani and I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Arizona. Today I am going to present our work on optical hybrid based optimal receiver design for entanglement assisted communication. And this work was jointly done with Professor Ivan Georgievich at the University of Arizona. I will start our discussion with a summary of our work. Then I will present some introduction and receiver design for entanglement assisted communication, followed by results, conclusion, and discussion. So to summarize our work, we propose a new two cross two optical hybrid receiver for entanglement assisted communication, whose performance is roughly 10% better in terms of error probability as compared to previously proposed optimal parametric amplifier based receivers. To motivate our work, we use quantum communication since uh, the objective of our work is um, in the quantum communication. And um, in quantum communication, there are two types of the communication, quantum state, um, two types of quantum uh, communication. One is where we transmit quantum state and expect receiver to detect the quantum state. The second is where we use quantum state to transmit classical information in terms of zeros and ones. This is called as a semi-classical quantum communication, which is the focus of our work. And we also use lossy bosonic channel, which can be used to model fiber optics or free space communication. Here, um, the entangle, entangled states are at the heart of entanglement assisted communication. In this case, when two photon arrive at a beam splitter at exactly same time with frequency and polarization close enough, so that they emerge from the beam splitter with their origin, impossible to know, we get entangled photons. Consider two basis vectors A and B, and if we have a composite states, and it's impossible to determine whether they are in A or B, then we have entangled state. We use a spontaneous parametric down conversion for generation of entangled photons. Um, here, for historical reasons, the entangled photons are called as a signal idler pair, and we use nonlinear chi square crystal for the generation of such photons. Now, let's look at the optimal receiver design for entanglement assisted communication using optical hybrid. So, in entanglement assisted communication, either optical fiber or satellites can be used for distribution of the entangled states, which are stored in quantum memories. On the transmitter side, Ellis transmits classical data using signal photon of entangled pair, which suffers from noisy and lossy quantum channel. Bob on the receiver side employs Idler photon of entangled pair to make a decision about what was transmitted using optimum receiver. So entanglement assisted communication requires two mode Gaussian states that are generated by spontaneous parametric down conversion entangled photon pairs. The SPDC source is a broadband source with modes M equal to TMW, which are identically ind an independently distributed source Edler pair. W is phase matching bandwidth, TM is the measurement interval. SPDC process generates M independent pairs of signal Edler photon in space and time, denoted by annihilation operators, which are prepared in identical, ident identical entangled two mode squeezed vacuum state and they can be represented in fog state basis as shown on the right side of the screen. We have a base annihilation operator as A hat, then uh, we denote the phase as U hat. Now at the receiver, uh, at the receiver side, Bob um, receives the photon, which is denoted by A hat R, and we have a covariance matrix term as shown on the screen with NR equal to A times plus NB, and NB is the mean photon of thermal mode, Eta is transmittivity of bosonic channel. So for our uh, entanglement assistant receiver, we use optical hybrid, which is suitable for entanglement assisted communication because it can be implemented in integrated photonics and quantum nanophotonics. The optical hybrid is characterized by scattering matrix S, which is parameterized by power splitting ratio kappa and two other terms, phi one and phi two. In this work, we use kappa equal to 0 0.5. The expectations of photocurrent is given by NOH 
uh, here um, and then uh, we also have a variance term which you can see on the screen here the optical hybrid receiver goes through the balance detector which can be used for the making the detection about the state and also here the, finally for the special case we uh, in this work we consider a special case of phi when equal to zero and phi to equal to pi and for which we have the mean as two under root eta ns into ns plus one cos theta and variance as sigma square oh now let's look at the results so we at uh, the detector and we use threshold detection and decide in favor of h0 if the total number of the photons detected is n less than nth theta otherwise h1 if n is greater than nth theta the error probability is given by p0 uh, multiplied by the some cumulative distribution term and then p1 multiplied by one minus some cum cumulative distribution term here the f which is the cumulative distribution term of the Gaussian distribution with mean m into n oh theta and the standard deviation root m sigma oh which is the multi standard deviation now look at the performance assessment here um, we first assess the performance of receiver using in terms of error probability so lower the better so you can see that the line with marker is a square marker is error probability for optical hybrid uh, the magenta color is for equal prior and brown is color brown one is for the non-equal prior the markers uh, the line with markers circle marker and star marker from the optical parametric amplifier which does not perform as good as one with the optical hybrid similarly we assess the performance of capacity which is calculated as maximum of the mutual information over uh, prior and threshold here uh, the capacity is higher the better so you can see that for in the low photon reg uh, number regime it's it's clear to see that optical um, hybrid based receiver performs better in terms of capacity as well uh, where the optical parametric amplifier based receivers uh, are unable to uh, perform as good as the optical hybrid based receivers and in our numerical study, the classical capacity always stays below the 0.07 bits per channel for the use of the mean signal photon and is less than one. So that's another, uh, another important result. Here, and it should be noted that we use eta equal to 0.01 and a background photon as nb equal to one. So in terms of conclusion, um, in communication system, the use of entanglement systems offers unique advantage in terms of providing a better communication rate in a low photon number regime. However, there are several challenges in terms of practical realization of entanglement, such as the transmission of entangled entanglement over long distance. In the second, that optimum receiver, optimum quantum receiver to achieve entanglement assisted communication, entanglement assisted channel capacity has not yet been derived. And so as a future work, we will analyze this receiver in terms of atmospheric turbulence. And we also note that optimum receiver design for entanglement assisted communication is still being explored. So we expect more work in this area. Thank you for listening to my talk. If you have any, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. Thank you.